Hi friends, uh, this is Vithal Varje and in this video tutorial we will learn how to create Azure SQL database, a Microsoft MEP, C Sharp Corner MEP, Microsoft Community Contributor, Speaker, Author, Blogger and blogs at www.compilemode.com, it's my personal blog and also C Sharp Corner.com. So the agenda of this video is what is SQL Azure? creating SQL Azure database, creating server in cloud, choosing SQL server location that is where to store database and configuring the firewall. So this is the agenda of this video. So uh, whenever uh, someone told you or someone say you Microsoft Azure then many people thought that the, it's only related to the database means it is related to cloud database but nothing. Microsoft provides the different types of services and the Microsoft SQL Azure is one of the service which is provided by Microsoft. So let's see. If anyone said that is cloud, then in your mind first comes the cloud like this. But this is nothing. This is a just a theme to say this is a cloud database like this one. Okay, so what is SQL Azure database? As earlier I said you that is Microsoft not only provide only cloud database, it is the one of the service provided by Microsoft that is cloud database as service. This is one of the service which is provided under the Microsoft Azure. So this is a simple definition I have created. SQL Azure is one of the Microsoft Cloud service which provides the scalable storage to store the data by allowing to create the database in different locations. Means I am trying to say that Microsoft has different types of services that is Microsoft Azure is one of the platform under which Microsoft provides the different types of services and SQL Azure is one of the services which comes under cloud cloud database as a service which allows to uh, which allows to store the data in a scalable manner means we don't we uh, don't need to care about the size of the database the microsoft will auto scale according to our plan so this is about the microsoft sql azure database so let's uh, let's learn how to create this database in a cloud first we need a, a Microsoft Azure account. So, how to create Microsoft Azure account or how to uh, get some credit to use Microsoft Azure? World, we will see in uh, uh, browser. Let's let's open my browser. This is my browser. And uh, if you need, uh, if you want to use Azure SQL database, then uh, definitely uh, you need Azure account. So, I will go on Azure portal like this so this is azure portal now it will directly give me the on dashboard because i was already logged into so uh, i have some pre plan uh, that is uh, i can say that is a, uh, i have some subscriptions like uh, 8496 so uh, if you want to uh, 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 use uh, use free uh, to learn about Microsoft uh, SQL Azure or Microsoft Azure then you can get the 200 uh, 200 dollar something at free of cost for one month as a trial so you can create uh, uh, you can create account about Microsoft Azure so let me show Microsoft Azure uh, Azure account account double C account free okay so let's see let's see 90 days free trial let's say that 90 days free trial just go to click here uh, it's the microsoft that is azure.microsoft.com and this is we can claim your free account we can explore all these things which i am showing to you so uh, this is this all about the 
Microsoft Azure account. Now our agenda is to create the database in a cloud or in a Azure SQL. So there are uh, lots of option, options are here uh, like uh, this is my dashboard and this is my Azure account portal. Now there are different types of options here, resource group, recent app services, uh, virtual machines, all, all these things, cloud service, SQL database, virtual machines, all these are the services of Microsoft Azure. So uh, without explaining more of this, let's uh, go to our uh, uh, video tutorial that is uh, creating SQL Azure database. Uh, create in this uh, option that is SQL database. Now it will open one option. Now we don't have any database like names, uh, status, replication, server, printing tire, pricing tire, location and subscription. So we don't have any database. So we are going to create the SQL Azure database or cloud database. So click on add. That is uh, I will show you again where that add button. So we you don't get confused. See here this is the add button after clicking on this. It will show the add button click on this add button now it is simple it's a simple uh, portal by uh, following you can create the database in uh, azure it's a database name so what data is uh, database name you will uh, store here that is uh, i can create one suppose i will create student student okay this is my student db i will see the student database uh it's a naming please follow your naming convention just i am uh, explaining this for demo purpose the student name the subscription type that is a uh, free trial or visual studio i have visual studio enterprise subscription and uh, if in your case it will be a free trial just select free trial this uh, now format is a disable so i am selecting as a visual studio subscription a resource group resource group is nothing but the is a group of services which is club under the one group uh, so i have created one online uh, resource group uh, mobile services and enterprise already so we can create a new user group or you can uh, resource group or you can create or you can use existing user group for your understanding purpose i will create uh, a new resource group so just a type name anything uh, database group data base sorry database group okay this is a resource group name now what type of database you want to create select source that is blank database sample database uh, and backup uh, suppose you want to uh, restore the backup of a particular database then select this one if you want sample database then it will give the advances work database uh, to export some tables store procedures and all so we are not uh, going to take backup or you want to use sample database we are creating this uh, database from scratch so select the blank database it will create the blank database without having any table store procedure or triggers or anything it will create only a blank database now uh, we have uh, created, uh, given the database name, we have selected subscription, we have uh, selected resource group and we have also uh, selected uh, database, whatever database we want, that is we want blank database. Now next step is to configure the server, select server, we don't have a current server, so we need to create the new server or we have already one server, so select, this I have already one server that is Vithal Azure or for your understanding purpose i will create another new server that is create new server so uh, give the server name uh, like student stu stu d e n t student db uh, db server student db Student DB server. Okay. So I have created a server name as Student DB server. Uh, so 
server admin login so you can create the username like sa or something we, uh, we already created in sql server it is for the login purpose so i will create uh, admin name as uh, what i create i will i will create my name vital admin okay uh, sorry i will create as a vital admin now password i cannot be spell out uh, for a security reason okay so now confirm password so again i am not uh, speaking my password so it pass now the uh, now we need to select the server location on which server there are different types of servers that is east asia east us east us to japan japan west north central us southern asia uk south west central west europe west us and west us too these are the server location from where we want to store our data so i will uh, i will select canada central so let's use canada central now the my database will be stored in a canada database uh, canada database uh, server okay uh, you can create uh, allow other services to access database is by default check true you can uh, you can also uncheck this one but keep uh, as a best practice or if you want to allow other services to access the server so don't think that now select now it will create the one server that is uh, our database will be stored in a canada central now next step is select the pricing tier there are different types of uh, pricing tiers that is premium premium P, uh, p1 premium p2 premium p4 uh, premium p6 premium uh, premium uh, double one premium 15 so it's all based on your use that is p51 p51 and uh, following is this is one standard s2 standard s1 standard and and something uh, basic 299 so we will select some uh, basic plan uh, to select so we can uh, you can choose any plan as per your convenience but i am selecting only a only a basic plan okay so let's go ahead something is coming so select this uh, basic plan select this basic plan and click on select button okay so we have already uh, now we have selected uh, pricing uh, pricing tier as well now now click on create now it will create one simple database like it's creating submitting deployment now it's creating wait it's creating 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 deployment started please wait please wait still the database is created now wait for the few times it's taking time to create the database so we will wait for few second so just wait again for few second again uh, i am explaining this a uh, few step uh, these are the some option uh, go here in sql database click on that uh, and then after click on add button 
and it will give you some uh, uh, one screen enter the all the details uh, like database name server name pricing tire and everything and click on create button so this is a few steps uh, you can create the azure sql database or cloud database so it will take me some time so wait wait for it so once once the database created it will show on our dashboard okay so wait for some second it will create database or if it is taking two time so everything is fine i'm taking some time this bit yeah this is deployment is succeeds under the database group now if you refresh this one i'll go here uh, no sql database to display the selected subscription okay we'll set all that is status is online now this will be the database so online now we have created this one replication replication role none we have not selected any replication role that is server name is uh, student server pricing tire is basic and our location of database is that is canada central and this is subscription and this is a uh, our database name what is the database name it is student db this is all the uh, details now uh, you can view that that is a sql server name a version show connection string you can view the connection string as well how to connect to the uh, database using edu.net using odbc using php or using jdbc that is sql authentication so uh, that's it uh, i hope uh, from this simple video uh, you have learned how to create the azure sql database and in this video tutorial we will learn in uh, how to connect to sql azure database so if you want uh, to connect with me then you can connect uh, using my email id or you can visit my blog that is uh, www.compilemode.com also you can connect me on twitter facebook and linkedin as well so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and blog if you like this video thanks